We now turn to promising news today about an experimental Alzheimer's drug that has slowed the effects of the disease. Now, the findings have not yet been published, but this would be the first time that a positive result has been found in a phase two study of a drug like this. Our senior source reporter Mark Kobrick looked into this study and Mark, the drug from Eli Lilly was tested on hundreds of patients over two years. That's right. So those patients, they got one injection every four weeks of a drug called donanumab. And the scientists say that it reduced their rate of recline, per, uh, decline permanently by 32%, which is really dramatic. Almost a third of the rate of their decline was reduced, so that's good news. And the chief scientist for the company also says that the drug also eliminated a lot of the plaques in the brain that cause Alzheimer's, and it eliminated them permanently. They didn't come back. So that's kind of the holy grail for Alzheimer's researchers. It's very good news about this drug. And another development, there's a company in St. Louis called C2N Diagnostics, and they have developed an early blood test that can detect Alzheimer's in the bloodstream. And this is also very important, important as we move forward towards a cure that we're able to identify these early Alzheimer's patients so we can get them into treatment for a drug that continues to be the sixth leading cause of death in our country. So this drug and this device bring to uh, numbers in the hundreds of drugs and devices under investigation by the FDA. So there's a lot of research underway. This is the FDA's current project list. There are 112 drugs and devices in the FDA's phase one trials, 173 in phase two trials, donatumab now, of course, this new drug is one of those, and 72 have made it to phase three trials. The Alzheimer's Association also says that it is pushing forward with global research. They are currently the number three funder of Alzheimer's research behind the US and China. They have $208 million currently invested in 590 projects in 31 countries. So the breadth and scope of this research is dramatic. And Jim Herlihy, the Senior Director of Marketing and Communication with the Colorado Chapter of the Alzheimer's Association says, researchers around the globe are now racing to find a solution to this disease. And that this new blood test, for example, that these blood tests, all of them, the new, the new research that these, uh, is being developed around these new early discovery blood tests will save families and patients of families trillions of dollars as they wait for a cure. There's an estimate that if we can move up the diagnosis of Alzheimer's by just five years, that we would save almost $8 trillion over the lifespan of the people being cared for. So as you can see, I mean, certainly a cure is the ultimate goal, but I think diagnosing this disease earlier uh, will be a huge benefit, benefit for the health community and for caregivers and the people living with the disease. Early diagnosis is of huge benefit. It gives patients more opportunity to take advantage of medications that are currently available to slow the disease. It provides more opportunities for families to plan financially for care, and it reduces emergency room visits and other expensive care, just to name a few of the advantages. You can't believe the number of people who call the Nine News Senior Source Project our hotline to say, I just discovered that mom and dad are in real trouble. And that's typical for a lot of families. Often uh, family members discover first that mom and dad are really experiencing a lot of difficulty and it comes as a complete surprise. And as you guys know, it can be life altering for families when you're caring for an Alzheimer's patient. Well, Mark, there are so many people, so many families in the throes of Alzheimer's and they can tell, but there are literally millions of people walking around right now who have Alzheimer's and don't even know it. That's right. Uh, they say almost uh, half of the uh, Alzheimer's population is undiagnosed. So we have to get out there and find that population in advance of a cure and also to save them a lot of money as they go down that path. And the newest tests, by the way, have tremendous advantages. They are less invasive, less painful because the current processes are not are not pleasant and a lot less costly, and they can be part of a regular physical and provide advanced notice of cognitive decline for those people who are experiencing it. And at the moment, as we said, they're not FDA approved, they're not covered by insurance, currently more of a diagnostic tool, but approval is on the way as we struggle to find a cure for this disease. So a, a little piece of good news in an ocean of a lot of bad news. And of course, we're trying to save our healthcare, our healthcare system from being overrun by Alzheimer's patients. That's the end goal of all this research and let's hope they get it done. Yeah, that would be great news. And we're all waiting for a day when that is the only headline. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, thank you, Mark.